The second habit is curiosity. We've talked about balance. The second habit is this curiosity. How many of y'all experienced this? I, I remember when I, when I checked into my first platoon, my, fir my first SEAL team, and, and I went into a mission briefing session, and, and I thought for sure I had the layout in my mind correctly. I thought it was going to be all the new guys up front, and there was going to be the skipper up there, and then all the old guys with tattoos, beards, scars, who'd done it before in the back. And I opened that door, and the dust flew in. Everybody yelled at me to shut it because it was letting all the cold air out. And all I saw was all the old guys up front, and they asked the most questions. And curiosity is simply this. It's intellectual courage. All curiosity is is intellectual courage. And I esteem intellectual courage very highly. I esteem it equal to physical courage. And when I say that in a room full of folks like you, let me, let me take a minute. I'm not diminishing physical courage when I say that. I'm not diminishing physical courage. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I, some of those valorous men and women in, in our military, they're friends of mine, and I'm amazed by them. And I'm not diminishing physical courage when I say this. But, but the truth of the matter is this. In moments of physical courage, there's a common element to it. You're brave when you've got to be brave. There's an element of necessity to physical courage. You can't not be courageous. And so you're courageous. That doesn't take anything away from it. But you had to be. Why I love intellectual courage so much is it's completely escapable. It, it, it calls big things out of you. Because all you have to do is not raise your hand. And no one will know that you didn't know. And the time we figure out that you don't know how to use that weapon... Was on the side of a hill when we really needed you to get on it. And the consequences of that are steep. I love being around brave people. And brave people by design are curious. They don't want to be found out. They want to find out. I crave it. In the special operations community, we don't expect questions. We demand it. Try, try making a plan in a room full of 19-year-old barrel-chested freedom fighters. They're going to ask you some questions. And if your plan's good, it's going to be better for it. You my little girls. I, I want to raise brave girls. And the best way I know how to do it is get them to ask questions. Teach them to ask questions. My girls, they're going to ask this question. Hey, stud, why is your hand on my thigh? They're going to ask that question. <laughs> and then they're going to say, have you ever been punched in the throat? Question one, question two. I want my girls to be brave. I need them to ask questions. Because intellectual courage precedes all other forms of courage. And the elites always have it. They want to find out, not be found out. <laughs>